2023 Dodge Challenger Review, The Final Boss. The Dodge Challenger has been the go-to muscle car since 2008, and while competitors such as the Ford Mustang and Chevrolet Camaro have downsized and turbocharged their engines, the Challenger has stuck with big displacement V6 and V8 engines. This move has secured it a loyal following, but time is running out for the Challenger, and its replacement promises a cleaner experience devoid of rumbling V8 engines. For its last hurrah, Dodge is offering the Challenger in a host of special editions, topped by the ever-appealing 485 horsepower r t scat pack. The Challenger is still a tremendous value for money performance by with excellent comfort, remaining fun to drive, but without a hope of challenging its rivals on a track. If you want to secure your very own little piece of Americana, then now is the time. 2023 Dodge Challenger Changes What's the difference versus the 2022 Challenger? This is the final year for the third-generation Challenger before it gets replaced, and in celebration of that fact, Dodge fits commemorative last call plaques under each car's hood. The Challenger will also be offered in classic heritage colors such as Plum Crazy and B5 Blue, both new for 2023, as well as the existing Sublime Green. Destroyer Gray is also new for 2023. Our Slash T models now get a special 345 badge on the front fender, denoting the 5.7-liter Hemi engine under the hood. The Shakedown Special Edition has already entered the scene with a limited production run of just 1,000 units, all based on the R Slash T Scat Pack and R Slash T Scat Pack Widebody. Throughout the year, various additional special editions inspired by vintage Challengers will be launched. The latest one at the time of writing was the Challenger Scat Pack Swinger. Also based on the widebody, this car creates a classic swinger look with its three available colors, sublime green, F8 green, and white knuckle, green interior accents, gold school badging, and more. Like the shakedown, only 1,000 will be made. There will be more last call additions to follow. Pros and Cons Available Big V8 Power Comfy Ride Roomy cabin. Retro looks. AWD available. Cheap interior materials. High weight and sloppy handling. Lack of safety features. It's on its way out. 2023 Dodge Challenger handling and driving impressions. While rivals such as the Ford Mustang and Chevrolet Camaro have moved on with the times in terms of driving dynamics and chassis setup, the Dodge Challenger is stuck in the past. Many fans won't mind that this hulking machine remains a straight-line fighter and not a cornering ballerina, but many are demanding more from their sports cars, and in the bends, the Challenger simply doesn't cut it. Fling this beast through a set of twists and its weight becomes immediately apparent, it leans and weaves, and the steering is devoid of feel, making it difficult to place the Challenger when trying to clip an apex. This car's strength lies in its ability to cruise, and low-speed bumps are absorbed without drama. The Challenger is a great highway cruiser and makes for a comfortable daily driver. If you want to go fast in a straight line, this is the car for you, but if you want to head to the track, look elsewhere. It still has a trick or two up its sleeve, offering an AWD option for added grip and security on slippery roads, an option that's otherwise unavailable from rivals. Sadly, this is only offered with the base V6 engine. Verdict, is the 2023 Dodge Challenger a good car? The Challenger Coupe is a car stuck in time. When it was first released back in 2008, it signaled a return to retro American muscle cars, and the years have been kind to it, but now, well over a decade later, the signs of aging are undeniable. The Challenger looks and feels dated inside and out, and in base spec, it feels spartan inside the cabin. The fact that you still get to choose from some large-capacity naturally aspirated V8 motors keeps the flame alive, but the Challenger disappoints when it comes to dynamic ability. This car offers a bittersweet deal, it's the last of its kind and is due to be replaced soon, but it feels old and heavy compared to contemporary rivals. If you're after a couch on wheels with lots of power, by all means, get one, but if you're into cars with a broader range of talents, look elsewhere. 
2022 Challenger Exterior The Challenger design is 15 years old, yet it still works. It's the grandpa in the muscle car segment, yet somehow it still manages to be handsome. Sure, there have been some tweaks along the way, but the dual round headlights and retro rear have stuck around since the beginning, albeit with updated and modernized lighting elements. Halogen headlights are standard, surrounded by LED daytime running lights, while the taillights are LEDs from the get-go. Base SXT models get 18-inch wheels as standard, growing to 19-inch wheels when AWD is equipped. A 20-inch alloy wheel option is available, while GT models get these as standard, along with a performance hood with a functional hood scoop. All models get a rear spoiler as well. Dimensions the only static measurements across the various configurations are the 116-inch wheelbase, the overall length of 197.9 inches, and the overall width of 85.4 inches with mirrors. Without mirrors, the standard body is 75.7 inches, while the wide body is 78.3 inches. The base SXT weighs 3,841 pounds, with AWD pushing this up to 4,051 pounds. The Challenger GT weighs 3,886 pounds, 4,088 pounds with AWD. The R-T Scat Pack Widebody is the heftiest model in the standard lineup, weighing 4,373 pounds. Exterior Colors One of our favorite things about the Challenger is the available color palette. It's proof that the people behind the scenes had a sense of fun and whimsy. And when people have fun doing something, it usually results in a good product. There are 14 colors to choose from in total and these are Frostbite, F8 Green, Sublime Green, Go Mango, Granite, Octane Red, Pitch Black, Cinnamon Stick, Torrid, Triple Nickel, White Knuckle, B5 Blue, Destroyer Gray, and Plum Crazy, the last three being new for 2023. Gold Rush, Hell Raisin, Indigo Blue, and Smoke Show no longer appear on the palette. 2022 Challenger Interior The exterior has aged very well, but the interior of the Challenger 2 door coupe is a disappointment. We're inclined to look the other way thanks to the affordable pricing, but the Mustang delivers more at the same price. Two things deserve praise, however. The Challenger is easily the most comfortable and spacious of the famous muscle car trio, and it can seat four adults. Thanks to continuous updates over the years, it has managed to stay on top of connectivity trends too. Seating and interior space The Challenger's low stance and two-door coupe styling make it tricky to get in and out of, especially for rear passengers. Its doors open wide, but they are heavy. The front legroom, 42 inches, takes up most of the interior space, but the 33.1 inches of rear legroom isn't that bad. Front headroom is ample at 39.3 inches, while the rear passengers get 37.1 inches. Front seats come with 8-way adjustment, power adjustment for the driver, making it easy to find a suitable driving position. Once inside, for fully grown adults, should be comfortable. This is one of the Dodge's unique selling points in comparison to its direct rivals. However, it's not an easy car to see out of due to the expansive rear pillars and the small rear window. Unfortunately, there's no blind spot monitoring to help out in tricky situations, so you'll have to depend on the backup camera, at least rear parking sensors are standard on the GT and up. Interior Colors and Materials The interior looks and feels cheap, but it is screwed together properly. Dodge dresses the interior in houndstooth cloth as standard. This even includes the top-end super stock, which we review separately. On high-performance models, you get additional side bolstering to keep yourself in place. To get Napa leather seats, you need to add the plus package at an additional $3,095 and the driver convenience group at $1,480. These add a lot of interior kit, as well as better, higher-quality sports seats. There are three color options available, black, black slash ruby red, and black slash caramel. Adding Napa slash Alcantara to the R slash T scat pack and widebody requires additional packages to the value of around $7,500.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.